today's project diary I will teach you how to treat and cure black spot on your roses. Hi and welcome to Project Diaries. In today's video I want to teach you how to prevent or cure black spot on your flowers and roses. Now black spot is a really horrible disease that can attack all the leaves on your flowers. And if untreated over two years it may actually prevent the bush from growing any decent blooms. So I'm going to give you a quick step-by-step -step guide on how to do that. First up, you want to deadhead any of the old flowers. These are either going to be dead wood or they're going to suck up some of the nutrients from the plants which you don't want to happen. When cutting the head off, you want to cut at a 45 degree angle. This will stop any rain forming in it and rotting it from the tip. Now the weather's been so bad here, these are basically rotted and haven't even formed proper rose hips. Rose hips are basically the seed pod that the plant produces after flowering. If they did form properly, you can harvest the rose hips and make tea or harvest the seeds to grow for yourself. But rose seeds are extremely hard to germinate and I haven't had any success trying to do this at home. Once you finish deadheading, you need to take off all of the seriously infected leaves and branches. These are the ones that are turning yellow and have the biggest spots on. Now hopefully this fungus hasn't taken over your entire plant because the more branches and leaves that you remove, the less photosynthesis this plant is going to get which means the less sun this plant can soak up via the leaves, the more susceptible it will be for more diseases. Make sure you remove all the infected yellow leaves from the top, middle and the bottom of this plant because black spot fungus can easily spread to other plants rapidly. Also, don't forget to sterilise your cutting tool once you're finished. You can either use an alcohol rub or place the tips in boiling water. Here we are some time later. As you can see I've removed all the seriously infected leaves. There is still one really nice bloom and a few buds left on here, but next is the cleanup. So what you need to do is collect every single leaf and branch that you've trimmed off this plant. This fungus is so harsh it can even live on dead leaves and branches. Black spot basically starts attacking the plant from the ground up so it's really important to clear the soil. Once that's done you need to clear away all of the weeds or any plant life that are growing at the bottom of the plant. Once the whole area is cleared from weeds just go around and pick up every single leaf that you see. As you can see here there's still a fungus growing on this dead leaf so it's really imperative for you to clear the area. Once you've cleared it all place it all in a bucket and do not put this on your compost heap. This will easily spread across your garden if you put it into your compost, so make sure that you burn it or discard it in the safest way. So once you've cleared the underneath really nicely and got rid of all the dead leaves and weeds, uh, what you want to do is there still might be some fungus particles in the soil. Um, so if it rains, um, the water is going to make the particles um, jump back up onto the, uh, the plant. So what you need to do is, uh, after you get rid of this, don't put this on your um, compost. I can't say that anymore, it's just gonna spread everywhere. So uh, make sure you just put this straight in the bin or burn it. Um, so to mulch, you can use uh, straw or uh, hay, uh, pine, um, pine leaves. Um, today I'm, I've got some leftover grass. Um, so I'm just gonna use a, a, a really thin layer all over the base. Stop those uh, fungus particles coming back up. It's advisable to actually use bark or the pine leaves uh, and lay it about two or three inches thick. Uh, this will prevent any of the fungus jumping back up onto this plant. Now as you should know I do this at my granddad's so the condition of this grass isn't ideal because it's still a bit wet but it's the only thing I've got around to use today. So now we've deadheaded, taken off all the leaves, uh, got rid of all of the dead leaves at the bottom and mulch, we now need to make a fungicide. So if you haven't seen my video on how to make that, check this one out and we'll move straight on to the next stage. So once you've finished making your homemade fungicide, you just need to spray it on. Now you need to set your spray gun at the widest, finest setting that you can and spray it liberally over the entire plant. Don't forget the underneath of all of the leaves and all along the branches and stem. Now today's weather is overcast and fairly windy, but if you live in a warmer country I would suggest doing this at the end of the day, mainly because the midday sunshine will mix with the oil in this fungicide and cause the leaves to burn. 
Now you may have to reapply this over the space of a few weeks. It generally lasts between five to seven days. But if you get a heavy rain, it will wash the majority of this off, so you will need to reapply it. So while you're watching me finish doing this, if you've liked this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to subscribe, you can click the logo on the screen. Once you're happy that you've coated the entire plant with your homemade fungicide, you're pretty much done. So now all the infected leaves have been cut back, uh, it'll give it a lot more air so the air will flow and there won't be any um, moist parts where the, um, the fungus can grow. Uh, it is the end of the evening so I'm not even going to water these yet. I'm going to do this first thing in the morning because um, that will allow um, the water to evaporate. Uh, I will water it from the bottom, um, never water the foliage because uh, that will incur um, encourage more fungus as well. But uh, I usually do a follow up video, but I'm not going to do it today. Uh, it takes too long for it to grow back, but hopefully that's given you enough information on how to stop uh, black spot on your roses. Take care. If you'd like to keep up to date on all of my future releases, don't forget to subscribe now. Here are some links to some of my great new playlists. And if you've tried these or any other project, I'd love to see your progress, so please post some photos on my Facebook gardening group. All the links are in the description box below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.